Facebook land. Check this out. We've got a nifty different setup someplace else in the shop. All right, guys. Hello, everybody out there. Uh, once again, we are CFX. Uh, this is CFX Live, and I am Tabitha. Josh is here behind the camera. He's been the camera operator for a hot second. Then he's probably going to join me on this side. But welcome to our live stream in preparation for Wrath of Khan. <laughs> uh, yes, obviously, we are doing a live stream to celebrate the fact that we are doing a sale starting today at noon. In a few minutes here, I'll get to the discount codes that you guys can enter on the website or shoot us an email with. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. We're really excited to be able to bring you not only another episode of CFX Live, but also this sale. <laughs> All right, guys, how are we doing on viewership? Are we doing good? Uh, people in there? Yeah, we got Russell watching us. Brian's on there. Hello, um, everybody, guys. Feel free to put Sa Salvador's there. J. Robert, uh, you got a long name, buddy. J. Robert, that's all I'm going to call you. He says, good day. Um, Eddie Silva, finally. Uh, yes. yes. Guys, thank you again so much for joining us once more. This is CFX Live for the Wrath of Khan. Uh, the reason why we are not only just doing this live stream, but also the sale is because, as almost all of you know, pretty much all the trade shows and conventions that not only we were going to go to, but you were going to go to, have likely been canceled or postponed, right? Uh, so we're definitely... Well, Texas Haunters wasn't canceled or postponed, but... But uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. But we wanted to still bring you a convention experience a little bit similar to like what we did in March. Now, uh, honestly, this time of year, we would have been at San Diego Comic-Con. We also would have been at Texas Haunters Convention. Uh, we opted out Midsummer Scream. Just because um, of, you know, unfortunately, the state of the world right now. Uh, and also Midsummer Scream, we would have been there next weekend, I believe. But everybody, thank you again so much for tuning in. We're really excited to bring the sale to you guys. Um, I'm going to break down a little bit what the sale entails. Uh, just to let you guys know, we are offering $50 off any non-licensed mask or glove set. So when I say non-licensed, that means you can't get a deal on these wonderful, beautiful, universal guys, but that's okay. Um, or the Game of Thrones uh, White Walker or Night King or their, uh, actually I guess, yeah, or their gloves, unfortunately. But we've got over 150 characters in our collection and thousands of ways to customize those guys. So trust me, you are not going to be without any cool, awesome, unique designs outside of the licensed stuff. So once again, that's $50 off any non-licensed mask or glove set. And you guys, unfortunately, that discount does not apply to any other apparel or any of the sil jibs or the guts. It's just masks and just gloves. Um, we are also still extending slash offering our free domestic shipping promotion. Uh, now that is just for domestic shipping. If you guys are international, I'm sorry. Uh, we still haven't been able to work out a good discount slash deal for you guys through our carriers, but we are working on that hopefully for another sale in the future. Um, speaking of, this is going to be your last chance to get a discount or a sale on our masks before Halloween. We are not going to do any more sales before Halloween, so if you've been looking at a mask, you've been thinking about it for a little bit, you've been hoping to have a sale, this is it. Last chance, guys. <laughs> last uh, chance. Just like all the other vendors know that we're doing our best to extend discounts out to you guys. But like everybody, we're I won't say we're struggling, but we're, we're experiencing the the issues that this virus has presented to everybody um and so you know we we want to be here for you next year and the year after that and many years to come yes. um so we do have to make a dollar every once in a while but we will try and extend those discounts whenever we can to Absolutely. you uh, but yeah this will be the final sale of the year so if you guys paid attention final though sale before Halloween. i don't want to rub this in a little bit but if you notice the earlier in the year the bigger the sale is so you got to get those masks if you want a mask for uh, a year buy it as soon as possible you know Absolutely. buy it in march uh, buy it in January if you can, <laughs> but buy it in March, buy it in uh, April. Uh, that way it gives us plenty of time uh, to have production time to do this. If we don't have production time, we have to rush things. We have uh, artists in on overtime, <laughs> and that's why the we, we can't just extend a discount like that. Yeah. But yeah. So going back to the sale dates, you guys, as you guys hopefully know, we are starting sale today. It is live right now. I'll get you those codes in one second here. Um, it runs a full week, so it's going to be live today, and it's going to run all the way through next Friday, which is the 31st, so the end of the month, um, and it's going to be until 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's where our time zone is. 
So as long as you get your orders in by 11.59 next Friday, we will make sure that this discount gets extended to you with the coupon codes. So I was gonna make you guys wait a little bit longer, but since you yeah, don't make them wait. I know, I'm a little bit mean like that. Uh, but since you guys have tuned in with us, we're gonna do a really handy dandy schmossum week over this way. So guys, CFX Rathacon sale. We were kind of prepared for you a little bit. <laughs> Um, I will also post this in an image uh, coming up here in a few minutes. But for you guys, it's CON, C-O-N 2020. So CON 2020 will be your discount code to get the $50 off any non-licensed mask or gloves. Um, and just in case you weren't sure or weren't aware or couldn't remember, our free domestic shipping code is TW2020. We've kept that since our uh, Trans World Fans World uh, CFX Live series that we did. So that's still active, TW2020, to get your free domestic shipping. And the code you guys all tuned in for, CON, C-O-N, 2020, will get you $50 off all masks and gloves. Um, you guys, if you have some special modifications that you need, shoot us an email. Um, if, if there's something unique that you need, a special paint job, if you need eyebrows, if you have something a little bit crazy in mind for some horns, Shoot us an email to info at compositeeffects.com. Uh, myself or Jonathan, uh, we're the two man team, man in the front of the shop for you guys. We'll check that email. We'll make sure that, you know, make sure you put that code in there, but we'll make sure we get all of your stuff uh, accounted for in that email if you can't place that order online. Looks uh, like we got are it. they stackable codes? They are. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so they are stackable codes, guys. Good questions, Eddie and Brian. Yes, they um, are stackable codes that is intended that way. We want you to use them. Both. It's not one or the other. That would be kind of lame. We don't like being lame. Stackable codes. Hey, Dylan. Nice seeing you on here. Uh, yeah. Hey, Dylan is killing it, everybody. Uh, Dylan's my new favorite person, just so you know. Um, I'll probably gush all over him for a little while, but uh, yeah. So I, I have some. I can't tell you why I'm so excited about about him, but uh, we're working on some yeah, stuff. we're working on some stuff. With some stuff. Uh, we are also. He was one of our runner-ups from the Design and Mask contest last year. We are working on our first runner-up sculpt right now, um, and then slowly but surely we'll be working into his uh, design that he submitted. And then, guys, I plus can't, bigger surprises. Yes, I can't. That's all I'm gonna say. Get into be begin to tell you the really cool things that we have coming up. Uh, I wouldn't say soon, but cool surprises. We'll be making announcements be soon within the next. We'll be doing these live streams. The reason why we set the studio up in a, in the new location. Uh, is so we can have air conditioning and proper Wi-Fi and actually make this convenient to, to do for you guys. And uh, our plan is to hopefully come on here maybe once a week and do uh, you know, a quick 45-minute to an hour segment each week uh, and just kind of be there for you guys. Absolutely, you guys. Uh, before we get too much more in there, we're going to do Q&As at the end, but you know what? We're hanging out with you guys today. If we have any other questions, Josh is going to scroll through there because he's on my phone. It's really small. Um, we, we still haven't fixed that thing. Uh, we we do have a, a new camera and everything on the way. Uh, the, the studio will get upgraded. I'll say that. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about it. But uh, yeah, it just we kind of rushed this. Uh, just so everyone knows, we should be on the road right now. Tabitha and I should be in the truck uh, with a bunch of masks in the trade show booth. Uh, but we could not do Texas Honors Convention this yeah, year, we're unfortunately. Very sorry that we unfortunately had to cancel our appearance there. Um, it's just, you know, it's something that's a little bit beyond our control. But we hope that everybody who is still attending Texas Honors Convention has a lot of fun. We will definitely see you there next year. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I'm sorry that we weren't able to make it out to Texas. That's another reason why we are also having this sale for you guys because we would have been at San Diego Comic Con. We would have been at Texas for Texas Honors Convention. We would have been at Midsummer Scream. And also, another convention that we were really excited to go back to in Mask September Fest. was Mask Fest, uh, part of Horror Hound Weekend in Indianapolis. Um, they put out an announcement, I think about two weeks ago, that they are unfortunately not going to be able to host their uh, event, which is very heartbreaking. We had a wonderful time there next, last year, but we just know that it's just going to make next year even more awesome, even stronger, and we just can't wait to reconnect with our Mask Fest friends and family. Uh, I am getting a little message on here saying that the code CON2020 only gives a dollar off. Ah, well, let me message Jonathan oh, for yep. that. Mul multiple. Here. All right. Hey, guys, we're on it. Uh, obviously, some, uh, some difficulties at launch right now, but we will go ahead and get on the... We'll, we'll get it addressed. Yeah, we'll get that addressed. Give us just a few minutes. Yes. Um, Will you have any new sculpts out before the discount ends? No. Hell no, Jake. Nope. No. Just because you're, you want one so bad. No, Jake. Uh, hey, Jake. Especially not for you. Jake, just so you know, uh, I, I am on that right now. 
just so you know. I know what everyone is waiting for. I know what you all are looking for us to do. Um, sorry, it, it took me a little while to get things back up to speed and to get us to where we need to be. But we are there now. Yes. Um, and we are going to go ahead and and you'll, you'll see some stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> Why don't you, I'm going to let Tabitha step off the frame for a second. Uh, I guess I can walk over here, um, but I can't see any questions, you guys, so uh, I can talk a little bit. Uh, do you guys hear that Universal Studios uh, was canceled this year, Halloween Horror Nights, both Hollywood and Orlando, which is horrible. Uh, we actually, being out here in Louisiana, we actually have our, a chance to go to the Florida ones um, and haven't had a chance to because now they're going to be closed and, uh, yeah go over to these guys right right now uh I'm, i'll talk a little bit about these guys real quick so there's three of them on there right now we've done a few of them and we can do it with most of the the masks that don't have uh, large facial features um the problem with it is you know because there's still a lot of detail in the face they're not as inexpensive as people would like them to be so we're working on some new methods right now i'll go ahead and uh let people know that i am working on a new system for the half masks that will be probably a little bit more like a sock mask uh, than the strap mask. Uh, but yeah, so right now those are $300 um, with the straps, just the way you see them right now. Um, but we are working on that to see what we can do about the next the next run of those. Uh, currently, these three that you see in front of us, plus I think there's a, a con and another one of the clown faces are available. Uh, but you got to call Tabby to order those because they're not on our website. Um, and again, it's just because it was kind of a prototype. Uh, we're willing to sell them, but uh, there you go. All right, Alec, Alec Colson says right, $50 guys. off is working. Yes, I was just about to get back on screen. You guys, thank you so much for uh, bearing with us as we work through those technical difficulties. But the $50 off code is now correct. It does say $50 off, not the $1, you know. We just we want to see what we can see past you. Just <laughs> kidding. Just we kidding. want to do that. We okay. want to really do that. Uh, we, I, spin I, over. I, I, to mention, which I know I already did, uh, any order that comes through during the sale will also get a swag bag. We haven't on the swag bag since the Fans World sale. So any order that gets placed through this week with that coupon code will get a wonderful CFX tote bag. It's large also because you can actually put a whole mask and a head, for, uh, head form in there and carry it. No big deal. Which is why we want to upgrade our bag deal a little bit here. Uh, but besides, it's really nifty handy dandy tote bag you can use for multiple things uh, leave lupus turned around for me so i can show the straps there you go uh you're going to get a handy dandy shenandy cfx lanyard we're really excited about these guys it's got the lobster claw down the bottom so you can put your keys on it uh or you know a badge if you make your own at home convention badge to wander around and pretend you're at the exhibit hall um you're also going to get if i can grab it a CFX sticker. It's either going to be this guy, or this guy, or my favorite, which is a newer sticker of ours. My other face is a CFX mask. Uh, you may get all three. Depends on how Ryan's feeling. Chances are you're going to get all three. Uh, and of course, last but certainly not least, a CFX worm. Hey, Jason, look what worm is on there. <laughs> yeah, Jason. <laughs> is that our Jason? Uh, it is. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't even know if he's on the live stream, but he made that worm yeah. um, because that's his favorite college team's colors. That, that, that's why I had to. Yeah. Missouri. Uh, Mississippi. Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi State. San Diego. We have one on college football. Sometimes whatever. But out here, down here in the South, Jeebus. Yeah. I love it. I love it wholeheartedly. So much so, especially CFX, that we have an LSU con paint job on one of our masks. <laughs> We took this bad boy down to uh, Tiger Stadium last year, right before they went to the CFF, uh, CFP, there it is. College Football Championships. College football. Or playoffs, or CFP. Playoffs. Yeah, yeah, College Football Playoffs. Uh, and we had an amazing response. So we've got Con that shows you Tiger. And LSU, and yeah, LSU Stadium. colors right there. Uh, and I think we've got some gloves, too, that match it. Uh, we do. I don't know where you put those, though. In the new studio, we have all kinds of, like, cubby holes and... Yeah. We kind of planned a little bit. Since my hands are so small, I can literally just like slip that thing this time. Yeah. I, I wish it was that easy for me. <laughs> for you. But yeah, you guys. So I mean, we've got a really awesome collection of masks that are in stock right now. All of these masks behind me, I believe, are available. So, if what, you... so what's our starting price on masks? And uh, kind of give a, let's give some price points on some of the masks. Yeah, so price points. Um, most of our masks start at 575 
five and go up from there. Um, obviously, the half masks are a little bit different because it's a different uh, style and different design. Um, but yes, our deformed hoods are 450, and our hero hoods, so the ones that look the like the skull hood, are, that's uh, yes. that guy right there. Um, and if you're looking at our hero hood, minus these handy dandy ear triangles, uh, he, without the ear triangles, to make a certain uh, vigilante dark character, hero, uh, is normally 400. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna handle some uh, some questions and stuff. Uh, Jeremy wants to know any man size hoodies coming. Need a three or four X. Man size hoodies. Um, actually, Red I bubble? think we do have a few. I think three XL hoodies flown around the back. We have a few apparel items still in house, so anything on our website uh, is in house. Uh, I definitely know we need to double check what we have in inventory. That way, we can make sure it's accurate for you guys. Um, but yes, Redbubble is another place where we're doing a lot of our apparel. We've so moved most of, most of our merchandise over there. Yeah, our other accessories, and especially our cloth face masks are on Redbubble. Uh, so if you go to cfxmasks.redbubble.com, you can find most of our apparel there. Um, so, for instance, here is one of our handy-dandy cloth face masks that we have with our ink pattern on it. you want me to put it on? Sure. Ah, this is actually kind of hard with the... <laughs> um, because my hands are actually small my fingertips are like right here versus all the way in there <laughs> that was different but yeah guys you can get uh these cloth face masks from red bubble we do have a few in-house they are not on the website yet uh we're gonna see if we can get them up on the website by monday ish for you guys they were designated for the trade show uh so yes. we would have some stuff to sell on on the trade show floor uh, but yeah, we will move those over to the website. Um, and unfortunately, they are not going to be part of the sale because they are not uh, silicone masks. All right, uh, Paul, he says this is his first silicone. Will it come with a headstand? Uh, yes, that is one of the other beauties of... Uh, when you buy from CFX. When you, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> not when, uh, when you buy directly from us here at the shop, every mask that leaves the shop comes on a... Usually it's an ivory display head like this. We do have ones that you can request for black, uh, but ivory comes standard on all masks that are ordered from us here at the shop. At the trade shows, when you guys come to see us, we never include a head form because there's so much to travel with. They're quite cumbersome. So you're actually getting an even better deal here on this sale than you would at most conventions that you see us at. You're getting free domestic shipping if you're in the United States. You're getting $50 off any non-licensed mask or glove. And you're getting a head form. And you're getting a swag bag. So you guys are going to do a lot of really awesome stuff on this sale. Just saying. Just saying. All right. Let's 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 go through these comments real quick. Um, because I'm, I'm letting it fall behind because you, you're talking. That's fine. Well, you're doing your job. I'm doing my job. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if we need to get into some questions, let's do some um, questions. What about the Gein Hood? Is that discount code applying to the Gein Hood? Yes. Um, let's see here. Uh, rocking the sleeve like a boss was yeah. one of the comments. Yeah. Um, Brian's on the hunt for that female clown. Uh, oh. the, the, the strap oh, one. I, yeah. So it, is that, I think that's Brian's clown now right there. Just so you guys know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a call. We'll, we'll talk about that, Brian, and we'll get that all worked out. But yes, I, I do have two of those. Uh, sitting around right now in an inventory box. Um, I believe we also have two doll face, uh, face only masks as well. And I think we have. I'm going to step away from the camera clock. and go grab the Grayborn real quick. Okay, uh, actually, it's right here. Uh, did you grab it already? Oh. <laughs> I was going to get the one out of my office, my personal one oh. for you, because I didn't know that Tabby had already brought one up. But here's Grayborn. Uh, that's our fresh. The fresh paint scheme. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you want me to put it on for you, so I'm, I want to put it on. Perfect hair. My perfect hair. My hair's never perfect. Um, as a matter of fact, I think Mad World Haunted Attraction just put out a really bitchin' new promo uh, with our mossy version of the Graveborn. And they have Dollface as one of their icon characters as well. So if you haven't checked out Mad World, give their stuff a gander. Um, they utilize silicone masks phenomenally in not only their haunt, but also all their marketing material. So if you're looking for a reason, why do I need silicone masks? Well, first and foremost, watch how easy it is to get off. You saw how easy it was to get on. Um, that's the beauty of silicone. It's an easy on, it's an easy off, 
It takes you no time at all to get into character and out of character. And if you need to take a break or you're having a problem with a group or anything else, it's so easy to get in and out of these masks. That way it gives you the ability to be who you need to be uh, and then back to who you want to be. So, you know, one of the things we hear a lot is, you know, hey, I have trouble getting my actor, if you're a haunt owner, uh, hey, I have trouble getting my actors to wear the mask for the entire night. Um, hey, what about the heat? Do you sweat in them? Uh, those are all real concerns. Uh, they do, you will warm up, just like if you were to put anything over your entire head and body, and yeah, you're going to sweat a little bit. Um, but the main purpose for a silicone mask is that easy on off. Um, to get that same look using makeup would take four to six hours in a makeup chair. You wouldn't be able to take it back off and take a break. With this, if you train your actors properly to, on how to take, take the mask off and put it back on, they can easily take a 15 minute break, get some fresh water. Um, I'm a haunt owner, so I'll tell you guys right now, what I do is I allow the, the actors to take the mask off. We throw them in an ice cooler. Um, while they're on their 15 minute break, that mask just sits there and gets icy cold. That, they put that thing back on, I get half hour of awesome energy and then it starts warming back up after that. So uh, yeah, if you guys ever have any concerns or questions on how to use the mask in your haunted house, know that Tabitha and I are both haunted house owners. We own Scarecrow Haunted Attraction. Uh, we're moving it currently from the Bay Area, California, out to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But uh, COVID, that's all I'm gonna say, COVID, damn it. Um, so 2021, Scarecrow Haunted Attraction. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's how we got involved with CFX, is that we're haunted house guys. Yeah, guys, uh, we're haunters by nature. It's something that uh, Josh has been doing since he was a kid. He started doing haunted houses in his garage, and he's worked up to being uh, operations manager for the Haunted Hotel down in San Diego. Um, and then we branched away and opened our own haunt, a uh, scary haunted attraction, like Josh was saying, when we lived up in the Bay Area. But we are in the process of moving it down here to Baton Rouge. So we are very well versed. Uh, we were customers and consumers of the product. Before. I bought my first mask in 2009. Yep, before uh, we came out here to work for CFX full time. We were doing a lot of freelance PR work for them at trade shows, which is where I, I know a lot of you guys had seen us before. Um, and then finally we decided to move on out here to go to Baton Rouge and become part of the CFX Silicon family. Full time. I'll, I'll put it out there. I'm, I'm honest. I'm blunt about things. California is way too expensive and the craziness going on. I was born and raised in California. Let me just clarify that. I, I was born in Southern California. Um, I've lived there my entire life. When we moved to the Bay Area, we thought that that was going to be culture shock, but it really wasn't. It's all of California is kind of the same. Um, and it, yeah, I'll be honest. I just could not afford it. We would do good numbers at the haunted house. Uh, everything ran successfully. We had awesome locations. But uh, just due to all the expenses, we found it was best to leave the state. And uh, yeah, we were one of those. We bailed. Slash unfortunately. Yep. But you know, we love it out here. Baton Rouge is great, great outside of the humidity and the mosquitoes that just love me. Yeah, Tabby doesn't do well with the mosquitoes. Like this was this was a mosquito bite, which I, I was able to finally treat. And that's a really awesome burn, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. All right. So uh, Josh, Josh on here had uh, asked Tabitha to grab the pumpkin guy, Sam Ham. Uh, he wants to see a side and back view of him. Uh, so this guy's got the, the pumpkin seeds on him. I'm going to get a little bit closer for you. Let me, let me lower this camera here. We're, we're really tall right now. Yeah. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. So he's got the, the pumpkin guts on him right there. Spin him around just a little bit there. Um, we can do more different coloring on like with the green on his chest areas and his neck. Yeah, we can make him um, a little bit more mossy if you're looking for that. Yeah. We actually just did a really bitchin' UV paint job on him. Uh, we're in all of his, like, his uh, crevice right here around where his top is and in certain areas around the eyes. Did um, we ever post pictures of that we thing? We did not because the customer has it and we just want to make sure that we have their approval to post it. Uh, we will try to post it because it's actually really cool. It's one of those masks that, in regular light, it looks just like what you're looking at right yeah. now. And then when we turn the black light yeah. on, it, all the other features disappear and all you see is that typical jack-o'-lantern face that, that everyone's used to. So, really so the UV is all in this area right here. Um, it's on his nose in here. So that area glows. The rest of it is all black. But yeah, so um, once we make sure that the customer you know, gives us the okay to share that, we will absolutely share that. Because we do a lot of really unique uh, colors and customizations and uh, different designs on masks for people. 
but you know, sometimes they want to keep it a surprise. They're using it for a costume contest. They're doing it for uh, a certain video or something of the lines. And if I ordered a custom mask, yeah, if I ordered a custom mask, I would want to be the first one. I wouldn't want other people all knowing already what mask right. I had. So we want to make sure that they either A, have the opportunity to share it the way that they meant to have it shared, and we have their okay to share it with the rest of you. We always take pictures of really cool things in the shop before it leaves, uh, but we always just want to make sure that whoever is receiving those items is comfortable with us sharing their image and their design. It's our mask, so we can share it, but we obviously want to be right by you guys. All right, we're going to just make sure we get caught up on everything here because, again, like... I'm going to mention one thing real quick. Um, on Sam Payne and a few of our other masks, we can do what we have called eye slits. So basically have it be... Uh, I don't think I have gaunt up here. Uh, oh, here's Boogeyman. Here's a good example. Where we can do... Um, have his eyes have those kind of slits uh, to give it a little bit more of a scary look, too. So it's not... And that way you're not seeing the human eyes as much. It kind of disguises the human eyes yes. and, uh, yeah, gives it a little bit more of a creature uh, aspect. Do that on we, we, we have an Anthony hiding out behind us over here. Um, most masks we can do that. The ones that are pretty standard to have that obviously are Boogeyman. It's a good option for Sam Samhain uh, and for... Ooh, sorry, Typhoid Mary has some. Uh, yeah, Typhoid Mary has some. Um, but Gaunt uh, is one of the other masks as well. Okay, uh, let's yeah, see questions. here. Questions about them, So sure. Tyler wanted to know what the deals was, but Brian got us on that one. Do I need a vape clown suit for the site? Um, <laughs> it's really funny. I just explained what vape clowns were to Jonathan yesterday, and he. There's still people out there that don't know what a vape clown is. Uh, we won't get into that on yep. this live stream. Yep. That's, that's their own prerogative. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I throw mine in a freezer for 30 to 45 minutes before wearing it in the Pensacola area, and it's hot as hell. Yeah, that's exactly. Throw it in the refrigerator, Fridge. do whatever. Cold bucket of water. Yep. Um, honestly, like Josh was saying, that's what we've done in different hot environments. Uh, just, it's not going to hurt the mask in that regard. Uh, there's very little you can do that's going to... Temperature-wise, the silicone is pretty impervious to things. Uh, it's not going to really freeze on you, um, and you're not really going to be able to melt it unless you get it up over like 450, 500 degrees. Which is uh. pretty high, and there's very few things other than putting it in the oven... Uh, I mean, maybe like a propane torch or something, something like that. Maybe. I, mean, I would love to see someone wearing one of our masks like playing with a flame throw. That would be chill. Yeah. But that's just me. There you go. That's just my opinion. Just saying. Not saying we need to see those or anything, but maybe we do. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do you want to scroll back over, pan back over, excuse me, to the coupon code so we can Yep. Find yeah, out. but hold on. Not. I'm going through. Hold on. So, uh, Moto the Clown says, you all get phenomenal crowd in Baton Rouge. Moto was also the one asking about the freezer. That's what we're hoping, man. Uh, California is kind of a fickle market. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a good market. I'm not talking trash on any of my California friends. All my family and we friends still guys. live there. Yeah, it's, I'm, we're so but just, bi days. yeah, business-wise, uh, I think it's just going to be a better decision for us. Uh, and not only that, but some of the buildings out here. Cool. Yeah. Guys, so, if, if you... Over a certain amount of years, years old. Not only just because of property value and you know just things like that. Nothing lasts out there because of the earthquakes and fires and stuff. Dude, out here there are so many really rad places that are just there, screaming for a haunted house. Right? Yeah. Or even if not in it, like in front of it. But yes, like we love, <laughs> we love history. Are you revealing secrets? Maybe we love history <laughs> and all that that comes with it and all that, you know, uniqueness about being down here in the South. So we, we dig, we dig historical stuff. We dig abandoned stuff. We dig things that have been lost and forgotten for years. That's our cup of tea. Jovini says, uh, everyone at CFX is amazing. Still love with, still in love with my mask. Uh, can't wait to buy another one. Yes. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate all of you guys as our customers yes. and our, I, I don't want to say fans cause I, I don't think of it that way, but yeah, fans of CFX are amazing yes. um yeah you guys make our job easy and uh fun to do you you guys are the reason why we love doing what we do uh whenever you guys send us an email about a mask you guys are really excited about purchasing from us when you guys send us emails and videos of you out and about scaring people in your masks or doing your live streams or whatever else you know your, your video clips and stuff we love that that is really you know what drives us that's that's our passion is to making you guys into the creatures you want to become. And once we see your guys' persona become that, like that, 
that's all we that's all we need in life. <laughs> Jasmine wants to know: Is the sale open to international customers? The sale is open to everybody. The free domestic shipping is obviously mainly for domestic, domestic. only. Um, so the sale itself, yes, is open worldwide. Um, Jesse's watching. Kelly McKee's watching. Hi, Adam Lane's watching. Hey, yeah, everyone starting to see everyone's names. So it's really funny because uh, when we were at San Diego Comic Con, because that's where Josh and I are both from, Ken, the owner of CFX, makes the joke and calls it TabbyCon because literally everybody <laughs> we know who is at the convention comes by and sees us and like it's like, oh hey, is Tabby here? Oh hey, is Josh here? Hey, like, oh by the way, the masks are cool, but where's Josh and Tabby? Right, you know. And so a lot of these people are friends who we know through the haunted house and Halloween and cosplay industry. So a lot of them have had masks or have worn the masks or have tried them on before. But it's always funny. So we almost called this TabbyCon, but obviously we didn't really want to go that far. So it's the Wrath of Con featuring Tabby Con. Um, so <laughs> hello, everybody out there. Uh, and once again, you guys, just to reiterate, we are doing a sale. Uh, this week, it's the entire week. So it started, it started today. I was going to say starts today. It started today with the coupon codes. Uh, and it's going to run all the way through Friday of next week. Uh, as long as you place your order or get your email into us by 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time on next Friday, we will make sure that your uh, your order gets honored with that coupon code. Um, Tyler wanted to see Vengeance up close. We've sold all of our Vengeance. This is the last one left, guys, just so you know. Uh, yeah. Vengeance has turned out to be a super popular mask. Absolutely. As soon as uh, they're cast and painted, they literally are going right back out the door. Um, this guy, Jen just finished this guy a little while ago, and we wanted to take him to Texas Haunters, which is why we didn't put him on the website. But now that people know he's available, I'm sure that he will be going. But uh, we'll do a quick little 364 Tyler real quick on him. Uh, and yeah, you guys, just so you are aware, if you aren't already aware, Vengeance was our winner of our Design and Mask contest that we had about this time last year. Yep. Uh, so Andy Lambert designed this guy. He was uh, the winning design. Uh, and yeah, we, we were really stoked with him. Uh, the way he turned out, the way the different paint schemes really lend to different... Uh, it's a versatile mask. Yeah. Like, it, he takes any color you want to put on there, um, yeah. and it usually ends up looking Every really good. just brings out different and unique things. So we've done the green, we've yeah. done the blue, yeah. we've done the red, we've yeah. done the black. Yeah. Uh, a couple black, I think, but so yeah. yeah. It's called Andy Blue. Uh, we're doing Demon Red. Uh, our Xenomorph is the, the black one. And then now this is our, our waterlogged variant. Uh, so some of you guys, I think, last live stream saw a, a new uh, Toxic Igor that we had on the shelf. You realize he's not on the shelf behind me anymore because <laughs> I don't know if he's in here or not yet. I haven't, maybe, I haven't seen him. He said he was going to join the live stream, so I don't know if he meant today or if he meant tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, a, a, a really awesome new, new fledgling customer, uh, family. Based out of Florida. Uh, yeah, family friend of CFX now. Uh, yeah, Skippy, he went and, and picked up a few masks from us, some of the ones that we hadn't even put up on display on the website yet. Uh, if you guys saw that translucent membrane teratoma that we were deciding on the eyes last live stream, that one's found a home now too. Uh, that being said, those are going to be offered as standards. I have the pictures ready to be popped up on the website. Um, so they are not there today, but they should be there. If not by end of day later today, then by Monday we'll make sure that those get posted to the websites. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff. All right, we're gonna get caught up here. Okay. Let's see here. Any female masks? Yep, lots of female masks. We'll start getting those for you guys. Uh, what's the price ranges of your mask? They start at five seventy five dollars for the full head mask, yes. and then they go up from there. Uh, we have had masks that are get up to $2,000. Uh, for instance, Tessa Zombie right here, uh, she is at uh, 13. She's at 1,300 because of all of this hair work. And it is all hand punched hair. Mm -hmm. And it's all teased and the bows as well. It's uh, all hand punched, it's hand styled. Uh, and our wonderful yeah. hair artist, JC, uh, does just a fantastic job with this design. Um, if you guys have seen some of the clown photo shoots that we've done with Midnight Mayhem Apparel's uh, Dazzle costume, that's this mask and me um, in the costume. We're gonna be posting a little like time lapse of the very last uh, end of that shoot that we did probably on Monday. Um, I'll share that for you guys. But yeah, so an example of a mask that is a little bit high in the price point uh, range is Tessa Zombie, but it's purely due to her hair work. Hey, so we have, a, we have a couple people in the studio with us right now. Uh, I'm going to have them step onto the camera and say hello. Well, maybe just one. A Anthony's here, but Anthony doesn't like being on camera. We all know Jen. 
Yep, yeah, there's Jen, our favorite painter right there. So we don't have her set up to do painting up here yet, uh, but that will probably be something. We will probably have a small little demo area yes. where she can come up here and do some paint. But yeah, say hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> she's wearing her mask because she's extra vigilant about everything. Uh, Tabby and I take ours off when we're in the back room over here, but this, we live together, so. We live together, so it's just one of those Yeah, but we, we, we are minding our P's and Q's here in the shop, trying to make sure no one gets sick. Uh, you know, that's our number one thing here in the shop is keeping the entire staff healthy. That way we can keep these masks coming to you guys. And that's one of the reasons why, unfortunately, we didn't go to Texas Honors Convention. We just couldn't put ourselves at risk, and by proxy, the rest of our work. So, yeah, but, let's, let's lay this out for everyone. So, Texas Honors Convention, we were... Well, I, I can't. It's just us standing I can't here talking. Read, I can't read no, the no, comments. All right. So, Texas Honors Convention. We really wanted to do it. The, to the uh, promoters of yes. Texas Honors Convention, we're sorry. But, yeah, it was just one of those things with everything going on. We would have had to quarantine for two weeks after coming back. Um, with my role and Tabby's role, Tabby could do some of her stuff from home, but I have to kind of be here in the shop. And so, yeah, it would have been. Didn't want to expose everyone to the sickness. So that's why we're not doing yeah. Texas Honors. That's the only reason why we're not doing it is uh, because Tabby and I would not be able to come back to the shop for two weeks, and that would make things very, very difficult. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, Chet would like us to address the fake. Oh, uh, we do. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember the numbers, so the light might change weird for a second. Ah, there it is. Oh, hold on. There, there's yeah. black light. All right. So. We do have some black light going on. I still have the same lighting setup that I had. Jen, your hair yeah. is like so fluorescent right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a little bit closer on these right here. Hopefully I don't block out too much of the UV by me standing in front of it. But bam, so there's Igor. We have a Sentinel down there with some UV accents on it. Uh, we have a Brain Games. You see his entire brain glows on that one. Um, I can shift them on the shelf that way. They can actually get it right in. Well, I'm just kind of, I'm moving the camera. I'm going to make everyone sick by moving the camera. We have an archangel. There's good old Tessa zombie. Her green uh, version with the hair, her hair glows just like mine. Yeah, and so, yeah, we can do the UV hair on Tessa as well. Same hair dye as what I've had. So, yeah, we do, excuse me, normally Tessa zombie has amazing fluorescent green hair. Very similar to what Jen's got going on right now. Uh, Watch your eyes, you guys. Call her. A variance um, because we modified the color of uh, her hair and a little bit of color on her face just to switch it up a little bit um, to see what she looked like. So, yeah. But, yeah, normally it's super fluorescent green, <laughs> like what Jen's got. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, we did the price ranges. Can you, uh, again, can you guys address the fake CFX scams on Facebook and what we can do about them? Sure. Uh, guys, we know a lot of them are out there. Uh, we we see them every day. In a lot of, almost all of them, everyone that we get uh, from you guys, so thank you guys for sending them in to us. We do report them to Facebook. It's just a really slow process for them to respond to us, especially during COVID right now. They have to, we have to find the ads, we have to report them all to Facebook through a, a whole uh, form, and then we kind of have to wait for them to get back to us. Um, but if you are seeing them, Unless you are sharing them with us, which actually we prefer you taking a screenshot of with the, uh, the, the page's name and sending it to us, just hit those little buttons up in the far, cor far right corner of that post and hit report as spam. Uh, that way Facebook knows that it's not just us being not happy with it, it's all of you guys recognizing that it's a scam. Um, because any like on that, any actual physical share from that page or any comments on those pages adds to their view count. Um, and just so you guys know, they are scam pages. You are not going to get a silicone mask, let alone one of ours, for twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> and they are also phishing for your information through those websites. Yeah, so, so be very, very careful, even if you're just looking at those pages to see which ones are there so you can let us know. We recommend don't do that at all. Don't put your guys' self at risk. I'm sorry if you fell victim to the scam ads, but now you have found us, and now you know where to go for your quality silicone masks. Only through us here at CFX. You can go directly to our website using cfxmasks.com or compositeeffects.com. We do have two authorized redistributors for some of our masks, but you're always going to get the best deals directly through us here at CFX. So if you see a scam ad, hit those three little buttons in the upper right-hand corner to report it uh, and take a screenshot of it and send it our way. We'll let you know if it's something we already have on our list or we're just waiting for Facebook to take it down. 
or if it's a new one, we'll add it to our list. So thank you guys so much, all of you who have been sending me messages. It drives me a little bit crazy to see them all, so I, I do get frustrated, but I'm never frustrated with you guys for sending them my way. So thank you guys again so much. And again, just to reiterate, guys, if you get anything at all, it's going to be a really crappy latex mask. Uh, there are some that they have recast our mask, yeah. but they're very poor recastings at that. Yeah. Um, and then others, you literally get like a Party City devil mask uh, yeah. with none of the Belial features or not anything. Even, not even um, remotely close there are life. YouTube videos out there that some of our customers have done kind of showing people the scam. Um, again, we are uh, aware of it. We do our best to get it shut down. But it's also kind of one of those things we can either spend all day fighting ads or we can spend part of the day fighting ads and then the rest of the day trying to make cool stuff. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of our thing. Uh, does anyone have any questions for Jen while we have her on here? Because I know we kind of pulled her down from the shop. Um, she just came up here to see what was going on. Yeah. Said, hey, yeah, right? yeah. I haven't seen the setup yet. Yeah, so the, the, the studio just got done uh, a couple of hours ago. We've been working on it for the last, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so let me, let me go through some of the stuff here. So uh, Dustin says, I finally got some funds saved up. I can't wait to send my Boris in for a repaint. Oh, okay, um, yes, yeah. please do. That's uh, Austin Zombie, right? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dustin is Dustin. what he says his name is on here. It, it's well, just believe, Dustin, no last well, name. I believe he is, uh, he lives in, in Austin, and he goes out as a street performer with uh, his Boris mask. Like All that. right. So I believe that it's the same guy. Maybe not, yeah. but if not, yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, how much are the clowns? Picked up my favorite imp mask. Yes. Oh, Benson, good. I'm glad you got it. Uh, yes. Yeah, like I said, as soon as we do these, the, yeah, the imps <laughs> usually sell fast. So I'm glad. I'm glad you uh, took the opportunity for the uh, sale. Just to remind you guys, it's not just in stock uh, items that are part of the sale. It's made to order as well. So if you don't see anything in the in stock section that you were hoping for, just order it. Go ahead and place the order. We're at I think about. A Six week production time frame right now, just with everything going on. Six week on. to be safe. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. About four to six. Four if you're getting kind of like a basic mask, like if you're getting a deformed hood or a hero hood, something pretty easy that doesn't require a lot of additional painting or modifications or horns. That's your work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the custom, more, yeah, custom paint always adds time. Yeah, the more complex you get when it comes to paint or add-ons, the, the little bit longer of a production time frame. Um, so, for instance, for Tessa Zombie, her base mask is rather simple, but the hair work takes a little bit of time. Um, so, usually, she's about an eight-week turnaround process. Yeah, uh, hair projects, uh, especially b beyond just eyebrows or like a little beard or something like that. Yeah, expect to add at least a week or so to it, uh, just because uh, yeah, we want to give the artist plenty of time to make sure it looks great. It also has to pass multiple hands. Yes. yes. Um, and then go through inspection and make sure it's all yep. good for you guys to go. Dustin says, too many people forget that you get what you pay for. There's a reason why silicone mask, or why, or there's a reason the silicone masks from CFX aren't $20 because they don't put one hour's worth of work into it. Uh, they put their heart and souls into it. Yes, yeah, you, you're absolutely. seeing some of the team. Uh, guys, know that I, I think the, the lowest amount of time on a mask is like 16 hours or something like that. If you factor in Change. casting and demolding and patching and seaming and paint you and then final saw inspection. How many imps she was painting last live stream and just how, how long it takes to do all of those imp patterns. But you know, if you guys love those imps, he's our mascot for a reason. So I, think I guess because you're going to get a little bit more imp work. Yeah, they're already gone, so yeah. we have more to make. <laughs> yeah, but the two that she was painting last live stream, I've already sold. So we, we, so we have your two people responsible for the imps in here right now. Jen's here, and like I said, Anthony's behind me. Anthony, start casting up some more imps. <laughs> Jen, get ready to start painting a bunch of imps. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see here. Uh, Tyler says, any ideas on gloves that can match with Vengeance? Maybe custom gloves for him at some point? Ooh, uh, Krusty's gloves might be a good point. And the fiend gloves. I always like the fiend gloves. I'm sorry. Do we have a business? Uh, yeah, just right there. Um, Krusty might be okay. He's got a lot of texture on him, though. Fiend gloves would be good. Um, we can always add wounds. Yes. We can customize anything. Again, if you guys can't hear Jen, uh, she said uh, the fiend gloves would be good, and we could always add add wounds and other things to it yes. and texture to it. And just paint them to match. I mean, we'll just cast them in the same color, and that alone like brings them much closer together. But yeah. Um, and if you guys want to order a mask and glove set, um, or you want something to, to be a matching set, it's best to order them both at the same time. That way we have them both in house. We paint them all at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Side by side. Um, we do, like I said, we do take photos of everything that leaves the shop, especially if it's something unique. 
but we all know that color profiles can change depending on what kind of devices we're looking at. So it's always easiest and better for us to have the actual physical sample in-house, that way we can do them both at the same time. So I know that's a little bit more money than some of you are probably looking to spend, especially in one go, but it's gonna be the best way to do it to make sure that your gloves and your mask match completely without having you to send one of the other products back in to match later on. Yeah, but that, that is an option though. Yes, you yeah. can always just send it back and we can that way, yes. Yeah, shipping would be on you guys, but yeah, no, we could totally do that for you if that's something you like. Um, Dustin says, yeah, that's me, so you, yes. you got the right guy. Um, let's see, uh, all right, Gracie's on here. She says, uh, what's the routines for cleaning care of the masks? Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, I have a whole video up on how to care and wash for your silicone masks. I'll make sure we drop the link into this live stream as well. But it's really basic. Uh, honestly, a little bit of Dawn dish soap and either a bucket, a sink, or a tub of water and you're good to go. Um, you put the soap in the water, you let it get soapy, you dredge the mask in and out a little bit until you get a good cleaning. No I scrubbing. Like, no scrubbing. I like to turn the mask inside out uh, to make sure that everything on the inside is clean because that's where my face is contacting right. it. That's what builds up the most sweat. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you do get a little bit of dirt on the outside depending on what you're doing and where you're, you know, you're wearing your mask at. Uh, but then you run out water, uh, unplug the sink or, you know, switch buckets, whatever. Get clear water, dredge it in and out of the clear water, make sure it runs clear, and pat dry it with a lint-free towel. Um, that way you can make sure you absorb any moisture. That way there's no risk of any mold happening whatsoever because mold can happen if you leave the mask unattended. If it's wet and you throw it in a bag and you leave it there for like six or eight months, mold can happen, which is why we say you make sure you want to dry your mask. Uh, I say a lint-free cloth because it's really funny, personal experience, we had some masks at the haunt and I just used like paper towel real quick and then put them into the room, it was all black light and there was lint like- Paper, <laughs> paper towel pieces all over the entire mask. Lint everywhere. So doing like just a like regular bath towel will help, but anything that's lint-free is gonna be your best, uh, best option to make sure you don't have any of those residual pieces. If your mask is not glow in the dark, it doesn't matter as much, but if you do have UV features or glow in the dark features on your mask, that does matter. <laughs> hey George, how you doing? Um, but other than that, if you don't need or want to give your mask a full bath, Lysol or 99 alcohol in a spray bottle, 99% alcohol in a spray bottle, uh, spritz that bad boy in there. Um, for the Lysol and the alcohol, you want to let it sit for a little bit. The alcohol usually evaporates, but there might still be some moisture in there from the alcohol and the Lysol, so same thing. Give it a quick wipe out and a pat down with uh, a towel or a lint cloth. Uh, <laughs> George from Immortal Mass says hello. Hi, hey! Uh, yeah. Just so, for, for, for those of you guys, yeah, that, it's funny, he goes, miss you guys, no <laughs> conventions suck. Yes. Uh, yeah, we agree, George. Uh, so just so everyone knows too, CFX and Immortal, we're all good friends. Uh, for some reason, people think, at, at times, think that there's like animosity. No, we, we love each other. Uh, Tabby and I used to go hang out with George. I hit, when we were in California, we'd go hang out at the shop. George would have us over. Again, thank you for always letting us do that, George. We always loved it. Um, you're always make it out here to Louisiana so I can show you this shop now. Um, but yeah, uh, we're one big copacetic silicone family. You know, we there's there's not competition necessarily between us because our styles are very different. Um, but we love what they do. They love what we do. We support each other wholeheartedly um, because of that. And yeah, you know, there's there's nothing wrong with owning a CFX mask and owning a mortal mask or one big silicone. Support mask. the industry, you guys. That's if, 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 if it's a mask that you like, buy it. That's what Right. Support it's, the industry, support the artists yeah. that you love, um, support, you know, this this whole industry for Halloween and, and cosplay and all that stuff because we know right now it's really yeah. funky and it's it's kind of lame because we're not able to go out and enjoy ourselves. Like George was saying, we miss all these conventions, we miss meeting you and seeing you guys in person. Letting you try the masks story, on. Yeah. Trying the masks on. So we're trying to do that a little bit for you this way virtually. Uh, we know it's not quite the same, but we hope that we are helping you guys make decisions on masks and actually seeing them on somebody versus just a video on YouTube. Um, you know, that way it's, it's real, real life for you guys. We can interact with you, turn the mask around, show you whatever side of it. Um, Tyler does bring up a good question. What about, uh, Maybe it wasn't Tyler. Hold on. I, I, Chet. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Chet. I was, the, the posts are moving. Uh, he's, he asked, even if the mask has hair in, in terms of washing it. Um, if your mask has hair, and I think I mentioned this in my, my how to wash your mask video, um, we don't recommend giving it a full bath, especially like for Tessa Zombie. I would never want to give her a full bath because that's a lot of hair work and hair styling that I can't really replicate um, after the fact. 
and might not look the same. So Lysol or alcohol is the best way to do it in that. If you have eyebrows or like a mustache, that should it shouldn't be, fine. be a problem. Uh, we can tell you how to restyle those guys. <laughs> yeah. I have seen somebody wash their mask. I think it was um, a Derek mask and he had eyebrows and they look like this. <laughs> and he's like, what do I do? Brush it, just brush it. It's not a big deal, just style your eyebrows. It's good. Um, so if the mask and gloves are on the same order, is the discount on the on the total or each item? That's a it good question. It should be each item. If it's not, I will, uh, similarly to the uh, under $400 thing, I will touch base with Jonathan and double check on that. So if it's not stacking that way, um, same thing, shoot me an email, Tabitha at compositeeffects.com or info at compositeeffects.com and we'll get it looked at and we'll get it addressed. Uh, this is the first time we're doing a sale similar to this, but we're doing stackable codes. So we're working through a little bit of a, a little bit of technical difficulties there. So bear with us, you guys. Thank you again for tuning in, but we'll get that addressed. I'm, I'm going to skip uh, some of the posts on here, and I'm going to bring up something that I've noticed lately. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the website and our stupid shipping calculator. Yes. Uh, you guys, we are still in the process of redesigning our website. We had the shipping calcula calculator working correctly for a little while, but it's just something on the back end that we can't seem to adjust correctly. Um, so we're waiting for the new website to come out to get it fixed r for real. Yeah. So in the so meantime, unfortunately, is, you got to deal with us. Yeah, so shipping is... Unless you're using that coupon code, is probably still going to be a little bit wonky. It wants to charge sixty dollars across the board for anything you order, for everything you order. But that is not what we charge you. That is not what we're charging you, especially if you're international. I posted this in our FAQ um, that people. I know we have frequently asked questions for people regarding the sale. That is one of the things we have acknowledged. We are working on. If you're having any issues with that, with um, having it be an astronomical shipping charge reach out to us via email like i've been mentioning we'll look at it we'll get it adjusted we'll make sure everything is on the up and up uh, jonathan is replying to emails and is watching all the orders that come in every order that comes in is reviewed by a human set of eyes say that uh, say that one more time so what happens order, when you order online every order that comes in is reviewed by a, a real person a human set of eyes takes a look at every single order that comes in and we make sure that everything is correct for you guys we'll make sure that the coupon code is applied We'll make sure that you're not being overcharged for shipping. We'll make sure that the shipping is correct. Uh, and you know, we'll make sure that if we have any other questions regarding your order or if we notice something that might be a little bit funny, we will absolutely reach out to you. It's usually via, via email, so if you are waiting on a response from us and don't see one, check your spam folders, please. please. All right, so let's see here. Uh, Craig says, yo, is that CFX shirt for sale? Mine? Absolutely. Uh, so I am modeling one of our shirts that is available on Redbubble. Um, I think this is only available on the women's. There is a men's sleeveless tank top, but this is the women's chiffon top, I think. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, because it is kind of chiffon-y. Uh, but this is on Redbubble, you guys. So yes, you can purchase this wonderful mask on Redbubble. Um, mask? Sorry. Shirt. Sure. <laughs> and mask. You can't pass, yeah, you can purchase those masks on Red Redbubble. I was the mask when I said it. There you go. I obviously haven't finished all of my coffee yet this morning. My words per minute probably says otherwise, but it's, I'm still working. So Le Lisa uh, had brought up the Tessa zombie again. Uh, I, I'm assuming that that's the one you're talking about, the, the woman mask on the top shelf. Her right there. Uh, that's Tessa zombie. Now, remember with her, um, that one right there is a hand-punched set of hair. Um, you can also do a wig that's glued on. This zombie is based on our Roxy, uh, the girl mask. So if you're looking for her without all that hair, uh, we can do that. So that's our, uh, our Roxy mask. And what, what does Roxy start at? It's also Roxy. Uh, Roxy base mask, I believe, is 575 Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so clown paint can be anywhere between 25 to $50, depending on the complexity. If it's messy, if it's clean uh and all that good stuff i believe on her page on our website there's a few different variations in the drop down but we all know every clown likes to be a little bit different likes to be a little bit unique so if you have a specific paint job that you'd like for a clown makeup shoot us an email uh and we'll get that looked at any reference pictures please send us reference pictures that way we know what to work off of and we'll touch base with jen uh, and she'll let us know what that what that price point might be um, George was just kind of talking back and forth. Bobby wants to know how much for the flayed Frank. Testing my, testing my knowledge, but guess what? I have my handy-dandy iPad here. There you go. Um, you guys, all of our pricing for the masks, uh, discounts aside, 
are listed on our website. The pricing up there should be accurate. Um, so I'm gonna double check yeah, quick while you're looking for that, uh, Dust Dustin says, I, I got both and love both. Both companies are amazing. Thank you, Dustin. Yes, Dustin, yes. he does. He does have, he started with Boris and then he picked up a mask over from Immortal and I love the fact that you want to interchange them. In. That just brings warmth to my heart. So yeah, let us know and we can get that, uh, that ma mask fixed up for you. Uh, let me see here. George gives exemplary customer satisfaction. Yeah, George is amazing. Uh, George won me over. I'll tell you that right now. Like it was one of those things. I, I've, I've been CFX hardcore for a long time, uh, but I now own some immortal masks. Thank you, George. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, we, we try to be an example for the rest of the industry between the two companies um, and just we try to do it right. So, so yeah, guys, uh, speaking of Flake Frank, he is 575 on the website. We actually have a, a new variation up there right now. We have a light and a dark. Jen experimented with putting darker looking blood on our dark uh, Flake Frank. So give that a gander, check that out. If you guys like it a lot, we might make that into the standard because we've noticed that on the dark Flake Frank, we do the blood, but you can't quite see it. So if you like it, let us know. We'll make that the standard. But he's available, so if you go to his page on the website right now, yeah. he's right he's there. there. He's actually right he's there. there, yeah. But he's there. I was like, I can bring him down. You want me to bring him down? Yeah, bring him, bring him down. Come on down. That way we don't have to make uh, make the camera fly like that every <laughs> once in a while. Get everybody all dizzy. Yep. Um, there we go. So the darker variant, Flayed Frank, with the darker blood on him. And you can just kind of see how much more that blood pops. So Julia, this is the lighter version of Julia, but her, that blood is normally the blood that is on both styles. And Jen was like, I'm not feeling that. So she pumped it up a little bit. Mm. Uh, so obviously we got Flay Frank and Flay Julia. If you guys are fans of a, the Hellraiser series, you guys would probably recognize them. And uh, we don't have him up here and he is not included in a sale. Uh, we do have a licensed slash collector's piece of what we call the Hell Priest. And he is called the Hell Priest because we worked with Clive Baker specifically. Barker. Barker, wow. Clive Barker I got specifically. I got you, babe. See? More coffee. Um, <laughs> to design the mask based off what his original sketch was for the Hell Priest that became Pinhead. Um, so he's on our website. He is probably our highest price point. For, for a standard mask, mask yeah. Um, just because we only made 30 of them and we broke the mold. So when you order the mask, uh, you get the mask, which has a uh, very short resin pin so that you're completely safe. They're flat on both ends. It is a wearable mask. It's you, a wearable yeah. mask. Uh, you'll have all the pins. It comes on a really unique resin display vest. You get a piece of the mold and a certificate of authenticity. Wow. Authenticity. Signed by Clive. Words are hard today, you guys. See, I don't know why you make me do live streams, because words are, don't always work for me. Um, because we like all sitting behind the camera and watching you struggle through it, and we, we all just sit here and laugh you and go. Oh. Can't say words. <laughs> um, all right, uh, we I got a bunch of stuff on here, real quick. Let me let me let's get caught up on this stuff real quick. Um, Dennis says, "Does the fifty dollars off also apply to current in stock masks?" Yes, yes, it does. All masks in stock and made to order. Um, Eden wants to know, can we deliver to the UK? Yes. Um, but the free, free shipping does not apply. It's domestic only, uh, yes. but we can ship to the UK. Yeah, we do ship worldwide. Guys, we acknowledge that import customs fees can be outrageous and astronomical. I apologize. We do not have any control over that. Um, we don't have any shops outside the U.S. yet either. Um, we have been for a, a while now trying to see if there's anybody outside the U.S. who would be able to be uh, a redistributor for us. Um, but, you know, right now we don't have anything. So while we do ship worldwide, uh, we unfortunately cannot control, uh, you know, the, the tax and, and the, the, the tariffs and stuff that come on it when you get it from uh, our, our country to another country. Uh, I got a really interesting one here that I actually don't know the answer to this one, and I'm going to refer to Jen. Anthony's already left the room, but I wish to have old man silicone mat or silicone gloves. Can you make them a bit longer so I can wear them in a T-shirt? Hmm. Can we extend the gloves? Uh, you have shortened them before. Yeah, we could definitely shorten them. <laughs> that, that's easy. Um, you know what, Nigel? Let us get back to you. Uh, we so use. Send us a message or send me an email. Yeah, send Tabitha an okay. email with this question. 
Um, I and that is a great question. Uh, I think we can. I think we can she extend it see, out. Since she doesn't see why, we can't. Um, but, yeah, that's something we probably have to R&D just a little bit just to make sure, you know, because where your elbow bends, there's going to be a little bit uh, extra, like, give there. And so that right now, that's, that's one of the reasons why they are the length they are. So that way, when you do bend your elbow, you're not getting a weird flex on the glove. Or, or a pinch on your actual skin from the gloves. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of why we chose the length that they are. But I think that we could do that if, if, if that's something that you wanted to do. Again, send us an email and we will follow up with you on that um, one. I believe if you need it, we can also extend the bib area a little bit. Uh, it's easier on masks that have less detail work. Um, so like for the imp, for example, this is a, a test that we don't have set up just yet. Uh, we can do the bib a little bit longer. So if you have if you're going for sexy imp look and you have kind of like an open, we're gonna, open We're going to spin around a little bit. Yeah, we're going to show them the customize your masks things. Um, those prices may not be accurate. Yeah, don't look at the prices, pricing. guys. <laughs> old, old things. But this, some of the customizations that we've done in the past with some of the masks, just giving you an idea of the options that are available. Um, you see the Space, space Chimp there, Cyborg Yorick, um, some real popular ones. The steampunk smooth. We haven't done one of those in a while. I'd love to see another one of those. Uh, we wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work involved in that one. So much work involved with that guy. So, you know, the, I, actually, I don't think we have the mold for his face right anymore. So we may not be able to do him right now. Wow, well, I wouldn't even say that. We'll, um, we'll make a new one if you really want one. Um, but, yeah, so we have the world's... They, we have the world at our feet when it comes to uh, modifications and different variations of things. Um, if you guys can dream it, we can likely do it. Will we always want to do it? Because <laughs> um, we've gotten some fun requests, and I say fun with a tinge of, tinge of sarcasm and also fear. Um, I don't know, I don't think we have one up here, but we've done a larva mask to look like a certain body part. And we were not thrilled when the order came in, but the customer was thrilled. The mask actually looked uh, pretty good. It, we, it was a butthole, okay? I know a lot of you guys thought that Ivor looked like a butthole in the mold phase, uh, sculpting phase. But no, we were we were asked to do a butthole out of Larva, and we did it. Yep. And we did it. Well, Jen did it. I didn't do it. So I, so bring bring your it. bring your funkiest request in and let's make Jen uncomfortable. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> she's gonna she's she's gonna start throwing stuff at me from behind right now. Um, all right, so Brandon says, uh, could you ever consider bringing back the old pumpkin jack mask? Maybe we a limited can. thing. Okay, guys, let me reiterate with that. Uh, first and foremost, holy crap, we've already been on for an hour. Thank you guys for sticking in with us. We still have like forty viewers. I know. Uh, you guys, we can we still have. Molds for all of our older designs. Besides uh, Hell Priest. <laughs> older designs. Yes. He's not an older design. Um, so, yes, we actually do have Pumpkin Jack, and I think we just had one come through uh, for an order, as a matter of fact. So, Pumpkin Jack, Whip Stitch, version 1 Yorick, version 1 Lupus, version 1 Ape Man. We have all those molds still in house, uh, and why they, I think, Whip Stitch version 1 is actually relisted on the website. We can do them at any time, so just shoot us an email with what you're looking to do, and we'll make that happen for you. Yeah, if you guys have seen us do something and you want one of your own, just give us a call. Like, if you don't see it on the website, give us a call and talk yeah. to us. Uh, we try to keep the, the website updated as much as possible, yes. but we're we're turning and burning these masks. <laughs> you know, they're, they're in and out of the shop almost as quickly as the orders get made. Absolutely. So uh, we're not always able to keep it all up to date. So, but yeah, definitely can do some of the older masks. Yes. Um... Dominic says, thanks for doing the live stream. Hey, uh, uh, yes, it is. Aha! He was one of our video contest Yep. Yeah. Um, Dustin says, uh, Flay Frank is what brought him to CFX. Um, composite effects could bring back the Marvel masks. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Well, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> with license deals, because uh, of the way things operate, they are limited licenses. So we held the Marvel license for about three years there, and then it just became, you know, it just, honestly, at the time, they weren't good sellers, and now that we don't make them anymore, everybody wants Now everyone wants them. them. Yeah. Um, so we actually do not have the molds for those anymore. Uh, part of our license at the end of it was that we've had to destroy the molds. So those like previously licensed masks or designs for licensed masks, we do not have and we cannot replicate those. Anything in our existing or in our co uh, catalog, so anything that CFX design, we can recreate at any time. But our licensed stuff is a limited license. So speaking of... That includes Universal. That includes Universal and the Game of Thrones. So uh, 
If you have been wanting some of those masks, masks, if you need to add them to your collection, buy them as soon as you can because they will not be around forever. Uh, hey, so Dominic. Buy the Marvel stuff. Yeah. Dominic, the veins on Julia, Jen hand pipes all those on. Those are all done by hand. Oh, yeah. Frank, too, and York. Yep. Any, anytime you see, like, 3D veining, nine times out of ten, it's all hand piped. And so that can be customized as well and done in different colors. And Igor. Yeah. Yes. The Igor mask, yep. See it, you know, just the vibrant blue. If you want them a little bit darker, we can do that, too. Uh, we had a bloody work. Where did they go? Why did I pause? There he is. Everything blends when it's up on the shelf. So, again, so these are some of the reasons why the, the production time is what it is. Um, because, yeah, a lot of the, we do all this stuff by hand. You can see it on the camera. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, he's got bigger veins in the back that just kind of fold forward and become smaller as they go. Yeah, so here I can hold them so you can see they, they, they start pretty thick and then they get super fine down there. Mm -hmm. I am always in awe <laughs> of the fine line detail work that Jen gets in there with those veins, ma'am. All right, um, let's see here. Yeah, you guys, we're still hanging out. Just reported a new scammer through Messenger. Thank you, Chet. Thanks, Chet. Uh, Chet would love to see a picture of the butthole one. Um, I don't know if we're. Took any. Yeah, that might. Th that, I did. I had to. Yeah, Tabby, Tabby has to take pictures of everything. We'll see if she gets uh, frisky one day and decides to post those. You were taking. I, no, Jonathan told me I had to. Um, I had to go get pictures of it. John Crint says the mask from the movie The Mask. That's what I need. Uh, th there's been a couple of those done. We've never done one in particular again because we start running into licensing issues. Yes, uh, licensing in our current collection uh we would have to sculpt it it'd be a custom sculpt so uh, we which do, we can do yes we absolutely do custom sculpts and sculpts custom work um but there becomes a timeline and a price point that you guys have to consider um usually to sculpt something from the ground up because everything is hand sculpted here we do sometimes rough things out in zbrush uh and blender but when it comes to actually getting things made we sculpt everything here by hand uh, so there's a definite, a little bit of a time frame, about like three or four months in the sculpting phase, depending on where we are in our normal Well, it'd, it'd be the conceptual time. phase, and then you would have the actual sculpting phase, and then we need to put the mask into production. Yes. Um, and all that kind of stuff. And then there's the questions on if it's uh, a mask that we're adding to our catalog yes. uh, versus an exclusive mask that you own all rights all to. Right. Um, um, and then there is a price point that comes with that. It's usually around uh, 7000 and goes up from there because of how much work goes into actually creating very it. Very labor it's, intensive. It's, it's like Josh was saying, conceptualizing, finalizing the design, sculpting it, molding it, painting it, and everything else in between. That you know, And we store like, the mold for you indefinitely. Uh, so, yeah, with those guys, like, uh, I actually, I think I had somebody message me the, the bad guy version of the mask from that movie. Same thing. He's a little bit more muscular, a little bit more built up, a little bit more defined in the brow. We don't have anything quite like that in our collection. Uh, I don't think we can really modify anything to make it look that way. So it would have to be a custom sculpt. But we are interested in hearing what you have to say. So shoot us an email if you've got something in mind. Um, Tyler says, if I have an idea for a paint job, is it possible for someone to take like a stock picture and recolor it so I can see what it would look like before we agree on it? We've, we've done some stuff like that before. Jonathan and I have played with some Photoshop a little bit, um, or printed, you know, things out. If you guys want to print out the picture and like colorize it yourself there. Yeah, I was say you can always that. print it in black and white Absolutely. and then use markers to color it the way you want. And yeah, and it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get us the general concept of what you're looking for and then jen or sarah uh, we tried to get sarah up here today but it's actually her day off and she was only in the shop she for a little while but yeah sarah, sarah is one of our sarah, other painters yeah uh but yeah so let us know yeah. um yeah we could definitely yeah, we, work yeah, off of concept drawings like that a little bit to kind of get it close to what um you're looking for like like we just said jen actually did just that the other day where she colored with some marker over black and white picture to kind of get a better uh, reference of what right, the customer was looking for so there's a multitude of different ways uh to do that uh, but yeah so uh another thing that um i think carrie the last live stream asked which i'm still working on 
um, is just getting like outlines of some of our masks from the front, so they can do, so they can color. Kind of silhouettes of um, it. Yeah, like a coloring book kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I like that idea. We're still working on that, Carrie. So if you're here, hello. I see. We yep. actually have a couple of those. We started doing it just in the paint room for us coming up with new paint. Well, designs. there we so go. Yeah. I've taken uh, the black and white copies, put a transparency over them, and just marked out loud them. them. And, uh, <laughs> and then so now we just have we scan the transparency and can just print out like coloring pages. But we only have that for a couple of masks, like designs that we were at the time working on new paint schemes for. Uh, but it would be an endeavor to do that for the entire catalog. Yeah, maybe the entire yeah. catalog. Maybe, you know, like about like 10 or 15 masks or so. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what we can do. And then we can expand from there. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, we've got over 100 and, I guess, over 150. Over 100, yeah, it's over 150. I think we're at almost at 160 masks yeah. now. Uh, with so many ways to customize and modify these guys. It's so ridiculous. you guys feel free to t grab one of our pictures and yeah, just print it out in black and white. And yeah. then if you want to color it that way, that would be fine. Uh, but it is something that we're noting right now. And uh, that's something that we would like to offer in the future. Um, I don't know how many old school people of you there, but we used to have a, the, what was it? The mask? The mask customizer. Oh, mask the lab. Mask lab. That's what it was. I, I couldn't remember what it was called. Uh, we all miss mask lab because you used to be able to go and take any of our masks yeah. and modify them, yeah. color them it's any like, way you want. You you um, you it was a huge resource on the website, uh, which is so why it's not, data yeah. <laughs> which is why it's not currently up, but we have been talking about it. It's we not gone forever. Trying to bring it back. It's just really complex. And the, the coding required for that was astronomical. Um, and the person who did it for us is no longer working with us. I was going to say no longer with us, but I'm like, no, 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 he's alive. He's no longer here working with us. Um, and so we, we have to work that out when we get the new website design. So we don't want to do anything with the current website knowing, and, and hopefully within six months we'll have a new website up and then maybe we'll be able to bring back Mask Lab because we know a lot of you loved it uh, and we love seeing your guys' creations. You guys came up with some really random stuff. And, and some really horrible stuff. I'm yes. just going to be honest. And some of the stuff was so bad. I was going to say, I myself. I can make so many ridiculous yep. things. Like, yep. Oh, that's a waste of time. Like, yep. making sloth into a clown. It didn't work. All right, uh, let, let's get caught up here real quick. So Kel, Kelvin says, Rush Hulk, he, I have one of your Marvel Hulk masks. I know uh, you on Twitter. Yep, would love to see a video of the production of one of your masks from start to finish. Any videos available. Uh, the process must be fun to watch. There so, aren't right now, um, especially because there are several steps that are proprietary, but we are, that's one of the videos that um, I've kind of been tasked to figure out how to make assembly work. Um, and so that's one of the videos and film without giving away too many things uh, with the process of making the mask or what other stuff we have in the shop right now. Um, so no, we don't have one yet, but hopefully we'll be able to get something kind of spliced together. I have one in my back pocket for when we did Frankenstein, um, uh, like Brett when he was sculpting them, not when he was getting, uh, not when the mold was being made or not when the mask was being cast, but when we were unmolding the mask for the first time. And I think I have some pictures of uh, one of you guys painting him up. But it's something we definitely do want to do. There's just a lot of little nuances involved with making the mask that are proprietary to us that we just have to make sure and we can. At any point, know that like we, we usually have three or four projects going on at the shop at any point besides the masks. Yes. And usually two or three out of those projects are NDA uh, style projects. Perfect. So yeah, we can't show any video. We can't show any of the product. Um, and it, I, I never want to be walking through the shop. You guys have seen me walk through the shop to the paint room. I try not to show anything that I'm not supposed to show. And that's the only reason why we do that, um, just because we have agreements with our other customers. And when we say other projects, uh, we mean we do film projects. We do uh, custom uh, silicone projects for other people. We do custom props for different things. And we also work a lot with the medical industry. Um, so we have a few different medical companies that we do uh, simulators for that we make the silicone skins and the the shells inside for them and stuff so we do we do a lot of that that stuff in addition to the masks which has diversified us quite a lot but we're we're here we're focused on the masks and uh like josh was saying earlier he's taken on a new role that is going to really i think project us back into uh some really bitching masks for you guys um all right so gary says you guys should do a humanoid snake type mask viper uh, do we have a Viper no, up here? No, because we sold out of them. Okay, uh, Gary, look up Viper on our website. Yes. Uh, we have Viper and Naga. Viper is the male fit. Naga is the female fit. So we do um, have snake hybrids, so and we, we can, can do those in many colors. A, a character from v. 
In fact, yeah, one, another, another person on the live stream had said that they had just ordered the King Cobra version yeah, of Viper. Totally uh, yeah, so, so that'll, yeah, that'll be coming through. Uh, Chris says a CFX coloring book would be a cool product. Yes, it would, sir. That is actually a really good idea. Uh, if we do one, you'll get the first one on us. Thank you for the great idea. Um, all right, Tyler says our, we're, we're starting to lose streams. People are starting to get bored a little bit. We're going to burn through this. We're boring. All right, just because I don't have Photoshop and my, and my printer's broken, I was thinking of Vengeance with some gloves. Uh, Tyler, reach out to Tabby. Maybe she can help you get a little silhouette of Vengeance if your Photoshop yeah, isn't we'll working. See, we'll see. Um, I don't want to promise because she does have a large workload. I have a lot of stuff to do yeah. at the end of the day, today, obviously, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with us again today. We really appreciate you spending the entire hour and some change with us. Um, thank you again. I hope you guys are taking advantage of the sale. This is going to be the last sale we have before Halloween. So if you've been looking at some of those masks, now is the time to buy. Like Josh mentioned earlier, as you can tell, uh, we do have a few sales during the year, but the sale uh, discount does decrease further into the year we go. So take advantage of the sale while we have it. Don't miss out. Again, love you guys. You're part of our CFX family. We thank you for tuning in with us. Real quickly, when does the sale end? The sale ends next Friday. So it started today and it runs the entire week, weekend included until next Friday and the sale will close at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so as long as you get in your order through the website, <clears throat> excuse me, or through email at info at compositeeffects.com with those codes, we will honor that for you. And uh, when can you see us again live streaming? Well, hopefully, actually we're gonna do it again tomorrow. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, did you forget already? I did. I've been talking about a lot of other stuff. Like I said, more coffee. So guys, we're gonna be live streaming again tomorrow. Uh, just hanging out with you guys, chatting more about the sale, uh, trying on a few more masks. We'll have a few different masks up on display for you guys tomorrow. And yeah, it's gonna be a really good time. And then after that, uh, hopefully we're gonna be trying to do this about what, once a week? Once a week. Um, so we will determine when that will be, when we're gonna start doing that. If you guys have suggestions or recommendations on when you would like to see us do that. So, so here's what we need from you guys. We need to know when you wanna watch us, and what you want to see from us. Uh, yes. we, we know the masks are always awesome and we'll, I'll put them on and off all day long. But if you guys want to see other stuff, you guys let, let us know. Yeah. We know you guys love the painting demos. We're going to start working some of that out. Um, we would love to show you a few of the other areas of the shop, but I got to get clearance on that first. Uh, but yeah, let us know what else you would like to see. Uh, do you guys want to see us do skits and funny stuff? Do you guys yeah. want to see us uh, just stay serious the whole time and just talk about masks? Uh, should we invite other people to the shop and yeah. see if they'll come on the live streams with us? Table. We want to hear from you guys. Let yes. us know. Let us know, you guys. We are a soundboard. Uh, we are here to entertain you, uh, as a matter of fact. So let us know what you guys would like to see. Let us know uh, when a time frame works for you. Uh, obviously, we're doing it on a Saturday for the first time, I think, ever. So if you like Saturday streams, let us know. Maybe we'll just keep doing weekend streams for you guys. Um, so with that, Perfect timing because the rain is starting to come down. We've got a little bit of a tropical storm brushing by us this weekend. Uh, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, sale is live. It goes the entire